The textile industry in Ghana was once a leading player in the country's industrial sector, employing about 30,000 workers. That number is now closer to 3,000 and dropping steadily, largely due to competition from cheap imports, predominantly from Asia, which is making it difficult for Ghanaian textile producers to prosper in the market. Speaking at the U.S. Ghana Business Expo in Accra, Trade Minister Katie Hammond says plans are advanced to resuscitate the industry. The government of Ghana has, in the collaboration with the industry aspect, formulated a garment and textiles manufacturing policy and the incentive framework to attract and facilitate targeted investment into the industry. After extensive consultation with stakeholders, a process has concluded and my ministry would formally outdoor this policy in the next couple of months. U.S. Ambassador to Ghana, Virginia Palmer, charged the two countries to leverage on its partnership for mutual benefits. Well, more billions, I guess, is, is the straight answer. Um, it's $3.7 in goods now, lots in services, but huge potential, I think, for growth in both directions. And that creates jobs in Ghana and jobs in the United States and prosperity in both countries. The ESPO, put together by AMCHAM, provides a platform to foster bilateral trade collaborations. The two-day event is on the theme, leveraging U.S.-Ghana trade relations for growth and prosperity.